Hello, everybody. Uh, this is Brother Luke, Sin City Preacher. Uh, this is a kind of a follow-up video uh, to a video I recently made uh, titled, What is the Bare Minimum to be Saved? Uh, there are a large number of people who label themselves as grace believers. And under this umbrella of grace um, believers, we fly a banner. Uh, it's a slogan. It's, it's our mantra, uh, our creed. And that is that salvation comes through faith alone in Christ alone. Faith in Jesus Christ for salvation is the only requirement, it's the only way to be saved. A lot of you watching this video uh, probably uh, ag agree with this premise and some of you claim to agree with this premise, this doctrine, uh, and you classify yourselves as grace believers and uh, you, you fly this banner of faith alone in Christ alone but I find that there are some who even though this is their claim that's not the truth for them they add things to this most basic creed salvation comes through faith alone in Christ alone uh, if you probe enough you find out that uh, they have some ifs, ands, and buts that they, they add to it. Uh, so I'm going to encourage everybody, before you just blindly accept someone's claim that they believe salvation comes through faith alone in Christ alone, that maybe you uh, dig a little deeper, probe a little bit, and find, you'll find that there are some out there. Uh, one person in particular, I, uh, after discussing this with him, I, I find that, no, he... He claims he believes in this, but he, in fact, believes that before you can be saved, you must change your mind or change your attitude about sin. That changing your attitude about sin is a prerequisite in order to get saved. So does he really believe salvation comes through faith alone in Christ alone? No. He adds that you must change your attitude about sin. So that's not faith alone in Christ alone. And then I'm thinking of a couple of other people who uh, they, they fly the faith alone in Christ alone banner. And yet if you probe, you'll find that, no, they, they believe that a person must have contrition before they can get saved. They must have a broken heart over their sin. They, mu they must maybe even shed tears. How many tears are required, uh, uh, I don't know. You'll have to ask them. But they feel that you must have tears and uh, c broken heart contrition in order to be saved. So do they really believe that salvation comes through faith alone in Christ alone? No. And then there are many that say that uh, uh, simply faith alone in Christ alone is not enough. You must also understand and have make mental assent that you agree to certain facts about Jesus. How many facts must you acknowledge? Uh, they don't necessarily universally agree on the number. Uh, some of them will have one or two or three facts. Others, the, the list of facts are, are more extensive. So if a person says you must uh, uh, agree with certain facts about what Jesus has done or who Jesus is, uh, do, do they really believe this creed that salvation comes through faith alone in Christ alone? I say no. So I, I'm just asking everybody, uh, if you do not really believe that faith alone in Christ alone is sufficient, do not fly that banner. Do not classify yourself as a grace believer. If you're if you're adding anything else. And uh, those of you who do agree that this, this is sufficient for salvation, then uh, I'm going to ask you to 
probe a little before you immediately accept someone as a grace believer and ask them uh, some a little deeper questions. Dig a little deeper and find out, are they really a grace believer? Do they really believe that salvation comes through faith alone, in Christ alone, or are there other things that they're going to add? Facts that they must know, tears that they must shed, verses they must recite as a creed. All right. Uh, thank you for watching. Bless you all in the name of our great Savior God. His name is Jesus Christ.